Well, she's all charging. Um, it's going really well today, really, really well. That there is producing a huge amount of energy. I got about two kilowatt. The hot water has heated up. My batteries are charged. I'm essentially overproducing. So I've just got back, I plugged my car in. So batteries are 100%. Immersion tank is heated up to temperature. And so it's flitting on and off as in when it's reached temperature, then five minutes later it's exporting to the grid. But now my car's plugged in, it's not gonna do that. Um, yes. So in weather like this, temperature's about 12 degrees outside, something like that approximately. The batteries are full already. So too small in the short days. Um, and in a long, it's not even a longer, particularly, it gets dark now, just gone five o'clock. So we've got an extra hour. We're already with no one here. <laughs> overproducing if we had the both cars plugged in then it would looking at the figures from today if they were both completely empty we'll be getting close to charging both them but with no hot water or if one was plugged in we'd have hot water done and a car charged up so pretty impressive so far just notice the battery's now 97 percent. so the car's nicking a bit from the battery as it tries to balance what it's doing there on eco plus plus um, but I also managed to get the Zappy installed on the app, which is the last one I had, because don't forget they've brought a tethered one over. Just could not add it at all with this one. Uh, I've just added it. Absolutely brilliant. So now I can monitor the charging and start, stop, etc. from there. The Zoe is very picky when it comes to starting charges. Uh, the timer, I'm not sure what the deal is, but if I've got it set for like half past midnight, that's fine. It works if I plug it in at sort of 11 o'clock in the evening. Um, but what I found, if I do it like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, it just doesn't charge. I think it must time out because um, it works. It's nothing to do with the charger, etc. It works fine on the Zappy as long as I don't have to wait too long. It seems as though at some point it goes, nah, not going to bother. Um, but today, lovely sunshine. Not the clearest of skies either. So we're going to get some more out of this. And the sun's still low. So it's casting a shadow over part of the array. Um, today is looking good. So what's the date today? Bear with me. It's the 5th, 5th of February. Um, so just a quick report really to say it's doing really well at the moment. So that's all good. We've got hot water and a car that's charging and a full battery. But there's definitely a correlation between the zappy charging, the car charging, and it makes it think there's a huge overage, even though <laughs> there isn't. So it's starting to get a bit darker now. There's still sun, but it's getting darker and it thinks it's got almost two kilowatts. But all that's doing now is drawing it from the battery. That's what's happening there, sadly. So it's pulling out from the battery as it starts to get dark. So that'll whip through the battery in no time. Well, what I'm actually gonna do, I've turned off the charging. Let me turn, go, I've accidentally gone too far. You can't see the menu because the phone's refusing now to show the screen, but I'm just gonna kill the power to this because it's just, I'm just gonna kill it. That'll stop it now, removing all the, all the power from the battery. Not very good this and not cheap. So kind of worked earlier today when it was pumping out loads of things. So this is a, I'm actually ending on a negative note, unbelievably. I thought it was going to be a positive video. But anyway, Solar Eye Boost is pulling now straight from the battery, even though there's no overage, uh, no spare that's be exported to the grid. Otherwise, it's actually pulling two kilowatts for, consistently from the battery. So, um, yeah, uh, ending on the fact that I've now killed the power to that to stop it doing it. So I can then start putting the... It's only producing 500 watts now, the solar, back into the... Um, into the battery.